everyone. Today we're going to be taking a look at this Smart Lock. It's from Tilvision. It's got built-in Bluetooth. There are five different ways you can use this lock. You've got fingerprint, you've got a key fob, you have a passcode, you have a regular key, and you have an app. So let's get you down here. Let's open this up and take a look at what's in it. Now one of the first things they advise you to do, which you should do anyway, is to read up on the manual, the instructions, and the owner's guide, which I have already done. So let's go ahead and open this up. So this is the Smart Door Lock Installation Guide and User's Guide, all in one. This is a template. We're not going to be needing the template on this application as I already have a door. This is going on a pre-existing door. If you buy a brand new door and it doesn't have the holes drilled into it, you will need this, but we're not going to be using this. This device can also be used as standalone. If you don't have a smartphone or you don't like downloading apps onto your phone, you can just use this by itself without the app. So in here, we have we have some more hardware here. We have two key fobs. And we have two keys. And this one we have our strike box. A lot of locks do not come with this. We have our deadbolt portion. Has a protective cover on there. Prevents from scratching. We have our strike plate and some more hardware. Here's the unit. I'm going to go ahead and take this out. Okay. It does have a nice weatherproof gasket here. You have your USB-C port. This part here is where the key will go. This is for your fingerprint, your thumbprint, and this will be where you type in your code. This will get plugged in to the other side here. And we'll get into that once we install this. This does take four AA batteries. Do not install them until this has been installed. Also, they recommend not using rechargeable batteries. So, here's the other part to it. There's your lock. This is where you will install your batteries. Right there. Again, this, this can be used as a standalone. You do not need the app. We're going to use the app. So the first thing I need to do is uninstall my old deadbolt so we can get this one installed. So now we're going to put our strike plate in with our strike box. And that just pushes straight in there. Now we're going to put our strike plate on with the provided screws. I did have to whittle mine just a little bit because my corners were rounded. But all I used was just a little chisel. Now we're going to put our bolt in, which is adjustable. This one does not need to be adjusted. It's right where it needs to be. This will be on bottom. It tells you up right there. But if you need to adjust it, you just turn this 
about an eighth of a turn and pull it out and now as you can see it's much longer so we're going to go ahead and put this bolt in now again the arrow and it says up we're going to use the provided screws Now we're going to take our external, this is called the external plate, and we're going to, there's slices in that, we're going to screw these on to these little studs in there, we're going to give them a little tight and then we're going to put this into that hole. Now we're going to take our external plate, this is going to run through the bottom underneath the bolt, and we're going to line everything up, just like that. Now we're going to take our internal plate, this wire is going to run through that square hole down at the bottom, And this is going to line up, these two holes are going to line up with the two offsets we put in there. And you're going to start your screws. Then we're going to tighten them down, make sure everything is straight before you do your final tightening. Now inside of the inside unit, there'll be a plug right here it's the big rectangle plug that is where this is going to plug into and you're going to plug it in there's only one way it can go plug it in until you hear a click and feel a click and we're going to push our cable up in there and line our lock mechanism up now we have two short screws. Once you have this up there, you take your battery compartment off and there's a screw hole here and a screw hole there. That's where we're going to put these two short screws. They're fine thread and they are countersunk so they will not obstruct the battery in any way. Now once you have those two screws in, there's a longer fine threaded screw that goes into the bottom. You're going to put that screw in and tighten it down. And they give you a little rubber plug. You're just going to put right in that hole right there just like that to cover that screw hole. Now we're going to install the batteries. Again, they recommend you don't use rechargeables. And it did its thing. And it left a chime. Inside your manual, there's a QR code you can scan, or you can search the uh, App Store for the iOS and Google Play, which is Android. Um, you will search for Smart Left App. So I'm going to scan this and download the app, and I'm going to set it up and I'll show you some of the features. So one of the nice features is you can use this to lock and unlock your door or one touch it'll unlock and it'll lock. Now I have my app it was real easy to set up one of the easiest apps I've ever set up and we're locked so we're going to unlock it and it gives you the percentage of battery now let's lock it again and it's locking you have accessories management you have more there's a settings down here uh, remote unlock 
remote voice unlock you can change the voice code you've got auto lock and you've got lock volume I have the lock volume on high there's other things you can do you can set in a temporary code if you're expecting visitors you've got member management there's me I've got everything set up there so let's open this door up and let's check the outside now we're outside we're going to close the door there's a picture of a lock you just push that and it locks now if I want to unlock operation succeeded the door is unlocked so the door is locked so if you want to use your card it says card right on right on the center of your lock pad just Operation put your card completed. right below that and it is now unlocked let's lock it back the door is locked now to use a code I programmed a temporary code to demonstrate just touch your code pad You type in your number and hit the lock button. And there it is. And hit the lock button again. And now the door is locked. Or you can do it the old fashioned way and unlock it with a key. Push that in, the top part comes out. Pull that out, turn it to the side, and you have your key. And same way to lock it. then push that down it doesn't even look like there's a key there so this is a very nice product five different ways to unlock your door easy to install especially if you already have the holes drilled you already have you just want to replace the lock you already have very simple to do and this was very easy to set up there are very well identified instructions here in English it tells you everything you need to know how to set up how to set your temporary codes let's say you have um, Airbnb you can set a temporary code for your guests let's say you have family coming in from out of town it's going to be here with you for a few days you can give them a temporary code and then you can always change it just like I have a temporary code on there right now I'm going to change and you got the key very nice setup locks very nice it will give you audible alerts when the batteries are going low um, it can message you and it will also tell tell you on here like I said right up there in the top we're at 95 percent if the batteries do run down you can use your key to unlock it so as always the link for this product will be in the description box below and I want to thank you for watching I want to thank the company for sending the item to me to try out and test for them I really appreciate it thanks for watching everyone bye bye take care